This video is intended to help you get started running R and RStudio on your own computer. So I am using a laptop that's running Windows. It should be pretty similar on a Mac. Uh, so the first step here as seen in the textbook is to download the software. Um, as it says, there's two pieces of software. One is R itself, so that's sort of all the statistical functions and the other computation and algorithms. And then the other is RStudio, which is just a nice interface for using R. Um, and so to download both of those, they're both free. You can either click the links here um, or just Google R Windows. Uh, if you Google it, it's just the first link here, download R for Windows just that link at the top, download R for Windows. Um, that'll let you download the .exe installer so you can save it wherever you wanna save it and then run it whenever it's downloaded and click through the installer. Um, that does it for R. And then for RStudio, you can again just Google download RStudio. It'll be the first hit. Uh, presumably you'll want the free version you just click the big download button. Um, and here it says download RStudio for Windows. So you click on that. That'll again prompt you to save another uh, installer. So you can download that, then run the installer, double click on it whenever it's done downloading and click through that installer to download, to, uh, excuse me, install RStudio. So once you've downloaded both of those, you can open R Studio from the start menu, which I will uh, do now. And once you have R Studio installed, you never need to open R directly. You just open R Studio and then it will sort of work with R in the background to do all the, the functions that you want. So when you open R Studio, you see one window with a few different panes within the window. Uh, so this big one here is the console, so you can see it says. Um, and then the other ones have different things, like if you have a help file or if you make a graph or things like that. Once you have it open, probably the first thing you want is to create a new .r file. Uh, so you can either go to file, new file, R script to make a new R script, or you can use the uh, plus sign here to make a new .R file. Uh, and so you can type a comment with your name. Then when you save it the first time, you can save it as whatever uh, name you want whatever file name, just make sure you put .r at the end to tell the computer this is an R code script. Um, so you can save that. Um, and then instead of red, it'll be black up here. Now once you set that up, you can just type code up here in the uh, .r file editor window. And then, so if I want to do two plus two, I can type that. I can then highlight it and hit control enter or on a Mac it would be command enter. And it'll take that code and send it down to the console over here. Um, so there's some way I forget to do that in the file too, but it's a lot faster to just do uh, command, or sorry, control enter. Yeah, I guess there it is. In case you forget, run selected lines, control, enter. So I'm gonna hit control, enter. You'll see it sends two plus two down to the console. And then the output here is four as expected. Um, and so you can do various things. You can even run multiple lines at a time by highlighting them. And again, hitting control enter, it'll run multiple lines at a time. Uh, so you're sort of set up once you're there, just type whatever code up here. Uh, if it doesn't do what you want, just delete it. 
Uh, if it does do what you want, then it's already up here. Just make sure you save your uh, file every so often so you don't lose your nice code. Um, if you ever make a plot or a graph, uh, again, you can just write the code for it, highlight it, control, enter. It'll make it in one of these panes over here. If you're trying to look at a help file, like in the first empirical exercise, um, again, just highlight it, control enter, it'll pop up down here, give you some help. Uh, the last thing I wanna cover in this video is packages. So when you're running R on your own computer, when you first install R, you also will need to download some packages like it talks about in the uh, textbook. So I'll flip back to that uh, briefly. Uh, so down here a little bit, this talks about installing packages. Um, basically, you can just run this one line of code. You just copy that. You can paste it directly into our studio that'll download all the packages you need for the whole semester. Um, so you can just type that in, highlight it, hit control enter. Um, it might take a minute or two since it has to download some files. There'll be a lot of red, which is a bit disconcerting, uh, but it's usually fine as long as the very end of it has black text. Uh, so that will basically download all the necessary packages and their functionality, but to actually use them, you need to load them each time you write a new R script. So if I tried to see some information about the wine data set that we'll use in the first empirical exercise, it'll complain uh, because I haven't yet loaded uh, the correct package. So before I do that, I have to do uh, this library function to actually load the package into the current R session. So I'll hit control enter again, see some messages here. It's uh, complaining. I need to update my R from 4.0.0 to 4.0.2. Um, so I will do that right after I finish this. Uh, but once I've loaded the package, now I can use all the different functions and data sets that go along with it. Um, so now I can learn about this wine data set in the Wooldridge package, see a description, variables, other notes. Um, so once you have that set up, you're sort of good to go, just typing more code and running it. Uh, at the very end, if when you're trying to submit your assignment, you don't want all these you know, ugly error messages that you had before. You can hit Control L to clear the console. And then you can uh, just keep whichever uh, functions or code you actually need for the assignment, get rid of the other stuff, highlight all of it, and then do a big Control Enter and it'll run through from the beginning. Um, didn't make my uh, plot window large enough. Run it through from the beginning, no errors. You see the output, everything looks nice. Um, and then you can just sort of copy and paste that uh, for your submission. So that's all I have to share for now. Uh, hopefully that's enough to get you started and I hope that was helpful.